Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, mothers and daughters of Olympus, please lead us to safety. We can't lose anyone else. I'm none of those, but I am Alexios, Hemistios. What's wrong? My people are in grave danger. We lost our leaders and our warriors, and now our hunters have disappeared. Hunting parties can be gone for weeks before returning. What happened to everyone else? War. The fight between Athens and Sparta has reached their borders, so the men left to offer their swords. I fear that those remaining will be lost to the sons of Xerxes. I haven't heard of the sons of Xerxes. That's quite the name. Persians left over from the Battle of Thermopylae. They have no nation except the heritage of an ancient king, but their numbers are great, and ours are not. I would not trade our roles in this situation. Though killing is my specialty, and I can hunt and track. Do you deal in advice? I don't know how to address my people. They know something is wrong, and I'm not sure what to do about it. There is no easy answer. If you were to take it one step at a time, how would you start? I can't bring back the men, or stop the sons of Xerxes by myself. I know it's a lot to ask. But can you bring them home? Even if it's just bones, we'll need to honor them. I'll look for the missing hunters. My cousin Agnodiki volunteered to look for them. She hasn't returned either. Bastards! Those bastards! Are you all right? Do I look all right? You survived. It's more than we can say for your companions. That was our warning. First our hunters, then the rest of the village. I need to warn our magistrate about the son of Xerxes and their plans. And I need to see her about my payment. What news of Agnodeki and the hunters? Magistrate Perictioni, I have grave news. The sons of Xerxes are preparing to strike. Oh, it's you. Magistrate, this Mistio saved me from certain death. For double the reward, I hope? Finally, someone around here who knows how to use a sword. I've been trying to convince Perry to build our defenses since we first saw the sons of Xerxes creeping closer to the village. Uh, this is my sister, Thea. She considers herself to be acting general of Lalea in the men's absence. It was your husband who shielded us before. Someone must do so now. Did you hear anything Agnodiki said? If we wait on the gods for help, we will be massacred. The only language the sons of Xerxes seem to understand is violence. Mistios, what if I hired you to protect the village? I'll do what I can. Good. Meet me at Kifiso's spring. I have plans for those sons of Xerxes.
Good to see your face again. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter of Kifisos, god of this spring. It's said that she lives in these pools. Thea, right? Beric Dioni told me you've been acting as general. Though, from what I saw earlier, you and your sister don't see eye to eye. Peri would die folded in prayer before she asked for my advice. Her distraction has allowed the sons of Xerxes to advance. And now we are on the knife's edge waiting for the slaughter and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready. Woo! Take that! That was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No. It's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But Big Sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always giving you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you're the hero. One can only hope to live up to that title. I've been playing soldier too long, and now I'm stuck in the role of Perseus while feeling like Andromeda. I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. Lalea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to correct. When the men leave for war, our defenses are limited to a few hunters too valuable to leave. Or young men who can barely hold a spear. And now that the hunters are dead... We're more exposed to attacks from the sons of Xerxes than ever. I've seen kings and commanders. You share their temperament. Perry married the governor. I am unwed. Spinsters do not become leaders. We exist on the fringes. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right. But it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith. But his daughter is still here. And what about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by. Likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. I've run into them before. I won't pry. Who should I train to hunt? I've met with some volunteers from the village. They've got a little experience, but need to have their bow arms straightened. You can find them on the edge of Lalea. Not sure how useful I'll be to the blacksmith's daughter. Metiaudusa mentioned needing some materials before she can get started. Between you and me, she needs a little push. She's been helping her father at the forge since she could walk, but she still doubts her own abilities. I'll get to it. them ask if I know how. Oh, who are you? A mercenary hired by the village magistrate. Oh, that explains why I don't know you. I'm Ethiadusa. Please don't tell me you need new weapons or armor. I don't, but the rest of the village does. Oh, that's worse. I thought you were the village blacksmith. Why are you so reluctant? I'm not the village blacksmith. My father is, and my brother is his apprentice. I just fetch wood when they need it. Now they all expect me to arm the village. Are you the only member of your family left? I'll know when the men return from war. Matter left with the ferryman last year. Is there any way I can help? 
I think Pater left the molds and tools nearby, but I need ore, and even then I might make something utterly useless. You look capable enough to me. There's a difference between knowing how to do something with your mind and knowing how to do it with your hands. Fair enough. What kind of ore do you need? Any kind of ore will technically do, but... But... My pater used the legendary ore when making a dagger for my mother. It is called Aphrodite's ore. Sounds strange, but it's true. How did the ore get its name? The legend says Ephestos, god of the forge, found this ore and used it to make a helmet for his wife, Aphrodite. She loved it for its color. Because of that, the ore works in the hands of any smith. Where can I find the ore? It's hard to reach. It's down the cliffs at the Persian remnants in a secret cave just above the water. Sounds like you've been there before. I told you, I wasn't a smith. I was there to fetch what Pater needed. I'd go myself, but I need to hit up the kiln. I'll bring back Aphrodite's ore. That must be the cave. I can see why this ore is named for Aphrodite. Should be enough ore from Metiadusa. Time to head back. I found the ore. Amazing. I'll ready the molds. Will that be enough for the village? It should be a good start. Oh, that reminds me. I have a problem. You and the rest of Lalea. I'm just one smith, and I can divide my time between making weapons and armor. 
but it will slow down the process. It would be faster if I just worked on one. Which should I focus on? Weapons or armor? Weapons can be improvised. Armor can't. Focus on keeping people safe. Yes, you're right. Your confidence gives me hope. Thank you for your help. <gasps> Is the whole hunting party? We're all Lalea has to spare since the sons of Xerxes killed our husbands and sons. You must be the Mystios Perictioni hired. I am. We may not be the big brutes you're used to, but we're versed in killing well enough. Well, we know how to fish. That's a start. We're ready. Do you have everything you need? Yes. Get your bows and we'll go. Tell me about Lalea. We've been blessed by both the waters of Capistos and by Aphrodite herself. Yeah. For she is the source of all beauty. All settlements need to be near water. Ours just has a lot. And you fish in the pools and the river? Kepisos provides us with what we need. Not enough in there to provide for all of Lalea. That's why we need you. With the sons of Xerxes so close, is there less game around? We've been relying more on fish and fruit. It's enough for now. Animals don't scream and beg for mercy the way humans do. I doubt they interest the sons of Xerxes as much. They're still food. Perhaps their numbers aren't as high as we think. They may not have enough archers to black out the sun with arrows, but they do have enough to fill every citizen of La Lea with horns. You're gonna get trampled! Don't mention it there. I'm already regretting being here. When fighting bears, keep an eye out for when it gets angry. Oh. Then you need to run the other way. <laughs> You need to raise your elbow to be level with your ear, keeping your arm straight and relaxed. Your arrow needs to be just below your eye, then exhale on release. Try to aim for the eye, so that you don't damage the rest of the meat.
shooting at us! The archers over there! Thank you, Mistios. I've learned much from the bow. Aphrodite may provide, but Artemis acts. La Lea is such a beautiful place. I'm glad I can do my part to take care of it. Thank you. That should be enough to get you through the week, but there's still much to be done for La Lea. Traditional welcome of the daughters of Artemis. You are the eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, and leader of the daughters of Artemis. I earned that title by defeating Ravni. I've come to ask for your help. The village near here is under siege by the sons of Xerxes. We follow Daphne. We do not follow you. You are a brute and a thug. Great leaders aren't measured by the piles of bodies at their feet, but by the help they give others. Without the sword and spear of my grandfather, King Leonidas, this coast would belong to the Persians. Great leaders protect us from invasion, no matter the price in blood. A great leader also provides for their people. Daphne always kept us in meat and shelter. You kill animals for trophies. Like the god you champion, you are selfish. Why would we trust you? I grew up with nothing. ...and have not forgotten the ache of hunger. I take what I need, and no more. Why do you care about this village, and why do you expect our sympathy? What do we stand to gain from this? This forest may provide you with food and shelter for now... ...but you won't be able to fend off the sons of Xerxes for long. You need those resources. Power radiates off you the same way it did Daphne. I can see now why you carry her title. If you can get me and my best warrior to yield... Then my bow and sisters are yours. Telesila, join me. Oh no! I yield. You have proven yourself worthy of your titles. My warriors and I are yours. You fought well. You know the direction of Lalea, yes? Of course. We'll gather our things and join you there. I expect to see you defending Lalea when the sons of Xerxes attack. Yes, champion. I've done all I can for these women. Time to get back to Peritione. Eagle bearer. Good. You can talk some sense into my sister. I've just spoken with the hunting party. They recovered new enemy arrows near the boundaries of the village. Scouts. Likely sent ahead to find weaknesses in Lalea's defenses. Of which there are many. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to kill those scouts. Even if we do defeat the lion's share of the sons in battle, the scouts will cut our throats as we sleep. If everyone dies in battle, there will be no village left to defend. Agnodiki spoke of enemy weapons caches. If we destroy those, we'll cut the legs off our foes. What did Agnodiki find? She overheard the sons of Xerxes discussing supplies they stole from a nearby fortress and returned to their camp. Why are these scouts such a threat? What if we're away in battle and the scouts return to kill those we've left behind? We need to deal with this now. 
Which do we focus on, the scouts or the casses? I'll take care of the scouts. The last thing we need is an ambush. If you've chosen wrong, we'll be exposed with nothing to show for it. But if you must go, go now. Are you ready? I'll see you when it's done. What is it that Spartans say about shields? With them or on them? May the gods guide your path and the arc of your sword. Better get back to Lalea. <laughs> I hunted them to the last. <sighs> I'll sleep easier knowing that. I still worry about them overcoming our numbers in battle. But thank you. This will change our fate. How prepared are we? We are under attack. Thea and her warriors are holding them off, but we need reinforcements. As prepared as we're going to be. Go. I'll stay with those who can't fight. This way! They've got us pinned against the rocks.
want to believe we did it, but the cost. Yeah, this is war. The extra bows from the daughters of Artemis sure helped. They took blows away from my people. For that, I'm grateful. I'm sure they were happy to help. We killed them. How? All I remember was swinging until my arms hurt, then swinging more. If you hadn't killed those scouts, I might have died thinking of them. I'm glad it's over. I may not be a champion of the gods, but it'll take more than a few wounds to fell me. Let's return to Lalea. It's okay. It's over. We beat them back. All that's left to do is burn the bodies. You protected my sister and my village. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. We protected each other. I don't know how we can ever repay you. I can think of a few ways I can repay you. Really? You're having this discussion here? In front of your sister and the whole town? Later, then. Gratitude, Mistios. Here is the Drachmi, as promised. You will always be welcome in Lalea. My grandfather died not too far from here. I'm glad he defended this place from the Persians. Alexios, if you could come see me before you leave, I'll be by the waterfall. And now the work of rebuilding begins. Good to see all this beauty at peace once again. Mm. And for years to come, thanks to you. I can't promise you peace. But you did give us the tools to preserve it. So, what kind of reward did you have in mind? My first thoughts were of getting you out of those clothes. If that's the first thought, I can't wait to see how the second and third thoughts go. Oh, there won't be much thinking. But there will be seconds and thirds. What will you do now? With everything taken care of, I'm free to do what I want. A list that includes spending more time with you. Come with me then. I can always use someone who can think and use a sword. You only want me around for my brains and my brawn. Would you prefer I said I wanted you to keep my bed warm? I've lived here my whole life. To leave it... Well, that would be an adventure. <laughs> 